Hello, my name is Daniel, and this is, I believe, the fourth video in this Emacs tutorial series. So basically, what I'm going to be showing or going over is uh, global uh, keys and uh, major and minor modes. So first off, let me explain what major modes are. So major modes basically are the base of every uh, of every uh, programming. Uh, well, it can be programming mode or non-programming mode. For example, org mode is mostly for you know uh, taking notes and all that good stuff and for example if I go to a Python file Emacs will load the Python mode if I go to a Java then Java mode if I go to a C then C mode you know stuff like that those are major modes for example let's go to the uh, file that we created in the previous tutorials so I believe I saved it in my desktop so let me see desktop slash desktop pi there we go so you see automatically with the major mode, Emacs knows what to syntax, how to highlight things. Basically, that font locking, syntax highlighting, and all that good stuff. So that provides just the base, the you know the generic stuff that will help you uh, programming and help you in programming. But uh, mostly, what you want are gonna want you're gonna want minor modes. So what these minor modes are are basically the little the little sweetness within Emacs that allow you to do some pretty cool stuff. For example, um, we have LPI. So LPI helps us do everything that we've been showing, you know, like uh, all of a sudden, you know, class, you know, fill out snippets and all that, yeah, snippets, you know, chunks of code that make it easier to, you know, start and all that good stuff. Stuff like that. Oh, we also have company mode. So you see, now we can choose, oops, oops. So now we can choose which one we want. That way we don't have to, oh, what was that variable? Let me go search for it. So that's what minor modes can provide. They provide the functionality that you'll mostly want, and plus you can customize the heck out of them. So hey, that's uh, basically the main difference between the major mode and the minor mode. So that's just a quick overview, because when I was starting out, I was like, well, what's the difference? I know there's a difference, but I don't know what it is. So hopefully that give you a, an insight as what to as what they are. So all right, so let's continue. So let's go back to the uh, to the init.l file. So basically, what I'm going to show you right now is global keys. So global keys, as you can probably tell by the name, you can use them anywhere within Emacs. It doesn't matter the major mode or it doesn't matter what you're doing. You, that command will always be available because it's global. Uh, of course, there are some exceptions. I believe, for example, if you have a global key that's like I don't know, uh, Control X S or whatever and the minor mode has that already for something else then it will be overwritten by the newest one which would be the minor mode so for you have to be careful because sometimes they can override each other but uh, yeah just a quick side note alright so what I'm gonna show you with the global mode is how to configure uh, helm swoop which is personally a package that I love the heck out of because I use it a lot so first let's go install it well you guys can uh, first see what it does and then if you like it you can you know install it but uh, for this if you guys want to follow along you guys just you know install it as well with me so alright so let's do meta x list alright cool so look at that we got all these new packages how awesome alright let's see let's look for uh, helm swoop helm oh so to search I do control s and then I just type in helm like that dash swoop so there we go, Helm Swoop, sweet, and then I press I to select it, and then X, and then it's going to prompt me for yes or no, I'm just going to put yes. So, yes I want it, save the init file, yeah sure, why not, and it installed it, is it installing, oh there we go, it's compiling, all that good stuff, and sweet, so now I'm just going to close it, and then I'm going to close this too, bam. So all right, cool. Now we have Helm Swoop. So let's call it and see if it works. Helm Swoop. Ah, look at that. Sweet. So now we start typing things for, let's see, let's put two semicolons. Look at that. Ah, it's going through all the comments. Of course, we can do like define or whatever. It's just like uh, control S for searching, but uh, I like it because it's fancier and cooler. <laughs> and I use a Helm, which Helm is beautiful. All right, anyways, let's do an example of global key bindings. Sweet. So first of all, what we got to do is press global key. 
Oh no, I'm sorry, global set key, because we're gonna define the key. And then as always, do the key binding, key BD, there we go. I always, always put the D first, I don't know why. And we're gonna do meta, uh, meta dash I, that will invoke uh, Helm Swoop. So we're gonna do the little uh, single quote right there and put Helm Swoop. Whoops, dash swoop. All right, cool. Now to evaluate, remember we go to the end and press Control X, Control E, Control X, Control E. Bam, evaluate it. So now when you press M I, Meta I, I mean, you get Helm Swoop. Look at that. Ah, that is freaking easy. And of course, it acts just like any other. So sweet. There you go. So if you want to learn more about the package, it's also if you go to their GitHub, which is right here. If you just put GitHub Helm Swoop, you should get this repository. And I recommend that you read the README because it's freaking awesome. Of course, it gives you like a little uh, GIF right there of what it does, and also the features, usage, and the recommended key bindings. For example, right here, Control, you see, Meta I, that's the one that we just put. So, you, obviously, you can change it to whatever you want, but these are just some examples. Also, uh, another one that I use is the Control X uh, Meta I. I rarely use that one, but I use it every now and then. So basically, this is just like a quick overview on how to do uh, global key bindings and the difference between major and minor modes. So pretty simple uh, video tutorial. So yeah, so again, recommend you to read the README and configure how you like it because it's beautiful and it's awesome. All right, sweet. Thank you.